Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to install the TACAX GUI server on EVE NG. So um, I, I run EVE and GNS3 and I found the TACAX GUI uh, works pretty well on GNS3 but I needed it to work for EVE NG as well and I had some problems. So uh, before you start make sure you, you get all these things in order. So start your EVE NG um, SSH to the EVNG server so I've got a VMware uh, on my PC here and it's already started and active um, and I've SSH'd onto the the um, oh I can SSH sorry cancel that I've got an SSH um, session running to my EVNG um, make sure you're in the uh, root folder uh, and you can see all these files in there okay so that's that so all those three so I open up win SCP so there's the traditional way of adding um, devices on um, EVNG so I've got my win SCP working and make sure you're on the OPT unit lab add-ons and QEMU folder and this is where you install all your um, your devices so I've got routers switches I've got Palo Alto uh, I've got my Ubuntu TACAX GUI server already installed but I'm just going to do another one for you guys um, so the next stage is to download the file so um, if you go to the the TACAX GUI um, website you can download it from here and install it but I tried it and I couldn't get it to work and you know it went, it went through all the processes went through all the installation it's supposed to be all automated script uh, a script goes wrong and then it doesn't install so uh, I tried it several times couldn't get it to work so I found an easier way of doing it and I thought I'd share this with you guys so the way I did it is to go to the GNS3 website so the the, the link is in the description um, but go to this TACAX GUI appliance scroll down and download this TAC plus QCAL2 file it's really important you get this file down uh, you can use the older version as well but this is the latest one um, as of uh, 2022 now um, so make sure you download that I've already downloaded it and it's in my folder um, so this is my um, TAC plus QCAL2 file so which is where I've stored it and this is my G uh, EVNG uh, folder so if we follow the instructions down on the EVNG you need to create a folder and uh, call it Linux Ubuntu make sure you do label that correctly um, because if it's not labeled Linux then the EVNG does not recognize it and you can look at the EVNG documentation for that if you want to so uh, from here you can either do new directory from here or you can you can just do a, a right click as well so L I N U X dash U B U N T U and we'll call this one TAC T G U I okay uh, what I like to do is make sure this is all read right um, it's not necessary sometimes but I, I just think it's you know sometimes it causes a problem so I just always do it anyway um, so once you've got that opened up you go into that folder and then take your two TAC plus QCAL2 file and push it across uh, drag it across it's pretty quick it's no problems at all um, so we just wait for that to finish and that's done so again I like to make sure I change the permissions so I change the properties and I change that to 777 that's giving it all the permissions and say OK to that so uh, moving on to the next stage so I've created the folder I've transferred the file across uh, and then you need to now to SSH to the uh, EVNG server which I've already done so um, from here you need to do go to that um, cd space opt slash unit lab slash add-ons slash qemu uh, and then i'll just go to that and i'll show you because i've got two files here because i've got the my original installation and then this is the new one that we're going to do so cd space linux tac gui and then do an ls there and there's the file that we transferred across right so that file needs to be converted to um, if you follow the instructions again that file needs to be converted to a VIRTIOA file so literally take this command 
copy that, go in here, paste that in. Do an ls again, and there's your file, there's your um, VIRTIOA file. Um, again, what I like to do is go back to my WinSCP, do a little refresh. There's the file that you've just copied, and again, I like to change my properties and make sure it's it's all 777, everything's available, readable. Okay, so once you've done that, you're nearly there. You've got to fix the permissions, as always, with um, EVNG. Um, so can copy that, paste that in, fix the permissions. And that will take a minute. And we're done. Okay, so the next step now is to go to um, your Eve console and start a lab up and um, install your server. So let's just go to that. Uh, Okay, so uh, I sort of started a lab already, but I've got nothing in it. So this is just a network connection. Um, and this is, if you look at this, this is a management cloud. So this management cloud has uh, a connection into my local area network um, via the, the virtual machine. Uh, and I've got a NIC card connected to my local area. So this is where I've got a DHCP server on there as well. Okay, so let's add an, a new node and look for the Linux, and there it is, Linux. Um, so I've got two available, the, the my original installation, this is the new one that we installed. Um, so we'll go for the new one. We'll keep everything default and just save that. Okay, and then we just quickly get that connected. Save that, and then we start it up. Once that's started, you can click on it and open the, um, the console interface and you can see that it's going to start installing pretty much straight away. There we go. Um, it literally takes a few minutes, um, less than a few minutes to be honest. It's very, very quick and I thought it was, it was a lot better than the original way from, from this one which took the installation was a lot longer. Um, but there we go. So we've got the login prompt. So if I look on the instructions, I've got um, you can SSH to that server as long as you know the IP address, um, or you can log in and, and you can check your IP address. And there's a web interface as well. So this is the TAC web interface, but you need to know the IP address. So to find the IP address, um, well, it's got I've got the IP address here actually, but we just log in and look as well. So root, uh, sorry, what was the password again? It was one, two, three, four. And then you can do an IF config. And there it is. So it's 192.168.1.129 is the IP address of your TACAC server. So if we go to that server now, 192.168.1.129, and it gives you a, a warning. So check that, yeah. And accept the risk and continue. And there's your TACAX GUI um, server up and running. So the username is TAC GUI and password is ABC123. So TAC GUI ABC123 and login. And there we go. There's your TACAX server up and running. Um, and you can add your users, your devices, and etc. So you can do whatever you like. You can. Um, but I'll I'll do a, a, a another lab on that one just to show you how to enable the TACAX and uh, get that working. So I hope you found that useful and thank you very much for listening.